Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Fairy of Love. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. This week the sun is in the sign of Libra, sign of love and peace. So happy birthday to you. We love you because you're beautiful in every way. The moon will travel in the signs of the Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. And there's a lot of activities this week that demands for us to be quite flexible and patient. Saturday, this Saturday today, Venus, planet of love, in earthy Virgo, will move in its favorite sign, Libra, bringing more harmony, more charm, and also in the relationship, realizing that uh, using honey instead of vinegar, sweetness instead of meanness to catch a fly is way, way, way better. Yet, it invites also a lot of us to avoid wishful thinking and denial in any bad partnerships, relationships. This is a time to really, really, really realize are we happy in these relationships and do something about it. For many also, it will be a time to say no more abuse, we're done, time to say goodbye. And it's good because to be in a relationship where it's not in harmony and in balance, that's not loving yourself, right? This Sunday, Uranus, planet of change, making a very happy trine to the moon, but a salty opposition to Mercury, planet of communication, brings us new insights and the courage to do the right thing for ourselves, for others, and to sort of manage and get out of crisis. So the stars have taught out a lot of things in the last few months about who we are, what we want, and most importantly, what we don't want. So now it's time to put it in action, okay? This Monday, the sun in Libra will make a joyful, joyful sextile to white Saturn, making us quite happy and feeling jolly, all of us. So let's enjoy. On Tuesday, Mercury, planet of communication and peaceful Libra, moves to passionate, deep, and profound Scorpio. Our mental state, therefore, will be more intense, more intuitive, more psychic, in search for hidden meanings, for the truth in our life, in everything we do. We cannot avoid it. We get out of the shadow and we come into the light saying, okay, I like this, I don't like this, and what do I do about it? And this week will bring some kind of solutions. I gotta do this, I gotta do that. So do it, don't wait. On Wednesday, this penetrating Mercury in Scorpio will make also a powerful conjunction, we're very close, to lucky Jupiter, bringing optimism, enthusiasm, solutions, and hope to our lives, especially for the people who have the courage to do the right thing and get back on the path of being the best you could be. And remember, it's never too late to be happy, right? You're never too old, too young, too nothing. Happiness is your duty, okay? Because when you're happy, you make the whole heart of humanity happy. And when you're not being the best you could be, you fail the heart of humanity. On Thursday, we have a powerful and unpredictable new moon in Libra connected to fortunate Jupiter, and that's good, but it is challenged by a Sun-Moon-Uranus opposition that brings a necessity for adjustments and to negotiate in some bad, unhealthy relationship or situation, and also many people will file for divorce or get some kind of legal settlement or arrangements, but it's truly a time to negotiate and make things right. It is best to avoid risky business, to avoid fights, any kind of fuse, it will end up in the tragedy and the police gonna come, something like that. And it's very important more than ever now to choose peace and love for everything, balance and harmony for everything. Peace, mm -hmm. it's an attitude, it's a state of mind and it's a choice. The good news this week for some, for singles, it's a time also that maybe some of you could find true love. Isn't that wonderful? So it's sort of like a polarity, but it's fun. This Friday, the moon in dramatic Scorpio trines dreamy Neptune in Pisces, planet of dreams, bringing more harmony 
and a feeling of rebirth and having the courage to do the right thing individually and collectively. And you will see all the craziness in the news about what's going on in the government, especially in the USA. It will start to start to make sense because it's been chaotic. I mean, from the beginning, but now there's going to be some new things coming up to, to show us the truth and we should start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Gentle, but it's going to be exciting and very crazy, but a little bit revealing and feeling like, oh, we're going to be okay. And we will. I promise you in 18, the end of this madness will end. Libra, Libra, happy birthday to you, beauties of the zodiac. We love you. The new moon in your sign and Mercury planet of communication entering your financial sector brings opportunities to increase your revenues and to really shine in love. It's a good time also to make important adjustments in your personal life and in your friendships. You attract also fun intellectual exchanges that will change your world views, your spiritual beliefs somehow. In career, make sure that your goals represent and reflect your ideals. On the weekend, laughter awaits. It's all about humor and having fun. Your magical color is turquoise, like in numbers 2 and 11. And now Scorpio, Mercury planet of communication, entering your sign, close to lucky Jupiter in your sign, brings beauty, magnetism, power, and a new awareness of the purpose of your life and the role you play in other people's life. In career, you attract new professional opportunities to really rise up. Take a risk, be bold. Also in health, you're getting results. It's fabulous. If you want to lose weight, get into a, an exercise program, into a hobby to make you look and feel good. This is the week to do it. In love, your sex appeal is wonderful. If you're married or single, tender moments await, especially on the weekend. Your magical color, purple and lucky numbers, eight and 44. Sagittarius, the lucky one of the zodiac, Mercury, planet of communication entering your spiritual sector, and the moon in your social house make you quite popular and confident and very, very cute. A good time to do fine tuning about your beliefs, your ideals, and to look at the bigger picture about your love and your career life. What do you want to manifest in the next five years? This week, you will have inspiration about that. And also this week, you feel closer to your family. On the weekend, it's all about relaxing, yoga, music, dancing, walking, getting close to nature, bike riding, all that good stuff. Your magical color red, like in numbers, 2 and 10. Capricorn, Mercury planet of communication entering your social sector and the new moon in your career house, bring new exciting financial opportunities to make more money. Everything to do with investment, launching a project, loans, mortgage, insurance are favored. You are the captain of your ship at home and at work. Wow! Be proud of yourself. In romance, you get a lot of attention. On the weekend, winning uh, maybe at the lottery or at the game of chance is a possibility. And also to enjoy good food, good wine and all that joie de vivre of life. Your magical color silver, lucky numbers is 12 and 28. Aquarius, wow, Mercury planet of communication entering your career sector and the new moon in your comic house. Bring action, Bzz, you are busy like a bee and you are getting results in everything you do. Wow, you are busy and you love it. In your relationships, cooperation, flexibility, knowing what you want and making sure it's a good deal actually brings a lot of results. Did you make a will? Did you also take care of your paperwork? Is everything in your budget in order? This is the kind of week to make everything right. On the weekend, friends will make you a beautiful surprise. Your magical color is violet. Lucky numbers is six and nine. Pisces, Mercury planet of communication entering your karmic sector and the new moon in your shared resources house. Bring high energy and lots of enthusiasm. At home and at work, you get the cooperation you need and also the help to accomplish your goals so ask and you shall receive all contracts negotiations in personal and professional life are favored on the weekend rest treat yourself to a good time recharge your batteries Ta -da! your magical color orange lucky numbers 11 and 22 aries mercury planet of communication entering your shared resources sector and definitely give you a big boost. The new moon also in your relationship house brings confidence, optimism, 
get ready for a new beginning or an ending. It's either one or the other in your personal life and it's all for the better good. So you're gonna have to make a choice this week. So do it and do it with your heart, not with your monkey mind. And also, you'll be able to attract some unusual circumstances that will help you see more clearly the bigger picture of your life this week. By the end of the week Friday, you'll go like, hmm, I know who I am, I know what I want, and I'll get it. In career, you are definitely very lucky, so take advantage on the weekend, passion awaits. Your magical color turquoise, lucky numbers, seven and 28. Taurus, Mercury, planet of communication entering your relationship sector and the new moon in your workhouse brings synchronicities from the universe that help you see the bigger picture about your home life, your career, your finances, your ambitions, where you want to go. It's just the universe will talk to you this week. So watch the numbers, watch the colors, watch the signs. And everything to do with real estate is favored and investments as well. Get ready also for your life to take a new exciting direction. This week you go to get holy holy. I love my life. Everything you will, that you will touch will turn into gold. Yuppie! On the weekend, you are in clown nine. You are relaxing and being very happy about yourself. Your magical color green, lucky numbers, eight and 48. Gemini's Mercury, planet of communication entering your work sector and the new moon in your creative house brings definitely new ways of looking at things, especially in career. Planets makes you very smart, very magnetic, and also determined to succeed. I like it. In career, a good time to really pitch, sell your ideas, and promote your talents. And somehow, an unexpected phone call that you did not see coming will bring good news and excitement, especially in the middle of the week or Thursday or Friday. Friends and relatives also show they care in your personal life, and on the weekend, it's time to relax and to treat yourself to a good time. You know, do something fun for you. Your magical color yellow, lucky numbers, three and 18. Cancer, Mercury, planet of communication entering your creative sector and the new moon in your home house brings high intelligence, a need for comfort and security, strong intuition and intense feelings dealing with your relationships. You're thinking, oh my, this is good, this is not so good, what should I expect for this? It's important to say things the way you feel and negotiate somehow, okay, and get your due. A good time also to make important decisions in your personal life altogether, okay? What you don't like, get rid of it, and what you would like, invite it in your life and make it happen. You have the power now, especially with Jupiter and Scorpio. In career, a conversation about your goals bring new encouraging possibilities and fresh ideas. Be confident you're going places and you are moving up in the world, I promise you. Don't go back. Look forward. Anything is possible. On the weekend, love rewards you. You didn't expect it and wow, you feel appreciated and just pampered. So say thank you. I love it. I deserve it. Your magical color pink lucky numbers, 6 and 36. Leo's Mercury planet of communication entering your home sector and the new moon in your communication house brings a new beginning one way or the other. Your whole world was swirling in different directions that way and that way and that way. Now it's starting to take shape. It's like the tide and the waves of the ocean never go back to the same beaches. And now you're going to decide which beach you want your waves to move towards to. New ways at looking at your life is definitely in the stars this week. It's time to make an imperative choice about your home and personal life, your love life. Don't allow to be manipulated. Follow your heart, not your monkey mind, and do what feels right for you and you will find happiness. Change is irrevocable. There's nothing you can do about it. And the key to your success is to follow again your heart. On the weekend, you catch your breath and you make things right for yourself and other people around you. You give back. Your magical color gold, lucky numbers 11 and 25. Virgos, Mercury, your ruler, entering your communication sector and the new moon in your financial house brings exciting activities and events that allow you to shine, to reinvent yourself in all ways, especially in your personal life. In romance, you feel also appreciated and loved. Some of you may be preparing for a marriage or to get engaged, 
but there's some magic in your love life right now. Singles also could meet very nice people. It's also a good week to play lottery and participate in games of chance. On the weekend, family gatherings and with going with friends for some definitely bring a lot of joy. So enjoy! Your magical color blue lucky numbers 5 and 29. Here is now the wizard affirmation of this very polarized but exciting week. Let's be realistic in life and plan for miracles. That's what I do all the time and it works. Enjoy this very inspiring and very empowering kind of week. Loving kisses, bye bye. And if you want a private reading with me in person, on the phone, with Skype, call me 310 372 5656. Love you now, be good.